What is up guys, I wanted to test out the newly released benchmark for Android, it's called 3D Mark and I've done this on my other devices, I wanted to test it out on my tablets. So I've got the Nexus 7 over here and I've got the Nexus 10, so these are the two devices I'm going to be testing it out at. In terms of specs guys, the Nexus 7 has a quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor, the Nexus 10 has a dual core 1.7 processor, this is Tegra, this is Exynos, let's see how they do. So I'm just going to clear out the app memory here. On both of these to make it fair and boom open these both up Nexus 10 is first and let me just mention a little bit about this app guys the good thing about this benchmark is that it doesn't really matter what resolution the screen is we know the Nexus 10 has a ridiculous resolution it's not really gonna matter in this test and the reason is it runs both these benchmarks 720p for this one and 1080p for this one to an off-screen buffer and then upscales it to the resolution of the screen. So uh, yeah, the test is uh, pretty comparable. We'll start these off at the same time. And the Nexus 10 is off, followed by the uh, Nexus 7. So you can see the 1.7 gigahertz pushing it along, loading apps faster. We'll uh, rearrange this a little bit. So the only problem with this app, guys, is the fact that you can't do the test at the native resolution for the tablet. I'll just turn this down. So. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You can't do the test at the native resolution of tablets, so we can't see how this would run at its native resolution at 2560 by 1600, which is kind of annoying because it would it, it would be nice to have the option to do that, but uh, never mind. This way we can compare devices directly, which is uh, also kind of cool. So here they go. Okay, and we're back with the results. You can see the Nexus 10 have finished first. I think the uh, Nexus 7 is just behind, so we'll uh, turn this around now and check it out. And the final result, so over here in the 720p test, the Nexus 10 got 8,028 versus the Nexus 7's 3,533, so 35, sorry. So you can see the uh, Nexus 10 easily wins out. The Mali GPU in this is a lot stronger than the uh, NVIDIA GPU in the Nexus 7. If we break down and zoom into some of the actual uh, FPS speeds, we'll zoom in here. This might be quite difficult for you lot to see. But you can see it pretty much easily, the Nexus 10 easily beats out the Nexus 7. The Nexus 7 gets 12.2 in the first GPU test. The Nexus 10 gets 36.7, 15.3, 32.7, 7, and lastly 21 FPS compared to 26 FPS. And in the demo, it scores 16.8. Nexus 10 scores 35.4. So pretty, uh, pretty easy to see that the Mali GPU in the Nexus 10 is a hell of a lot stronger than the uh, NVIDIA Tegra GPU in the Nexus 7. Okay, and as we're here, we may as well run the uh, more extreme 1080p test. So we'll uh, hit go on both of these. I'll skip as well. I just well. thought I'd bring you guys back in here quickly because uh, you can see a major difference in frame rates. The Nexus 10 basically looks pretty much smooth, a few uh, janky moments. If you look at the uh, Nexus 7 over here, it looks like a slideshow. So uh, that just tells you it cannot render 1080p well at all with these extra effects that the extreme version brings. And the Nexus 10 is done, guys. It scores 5,501, which is a pretty decent score for the extreme. You see the uh, Nexus 7 is taking its time, so we'll wait for that to complete. And there you have it, guys. It's finished 1,867 if we just zoom into the FPSs here. Whoops. You can uh, check out the differences. Again, the Nexus 10 whitewashes it in every test. Starting to show its age now, the, the uh, Nexus 7. So, yeah. If we look at this little chart on the side, guys, you can see the uh, Nexus 10 is above the LG Motion, the Lenovo. It doesn't score as well as I'd hope, to be honest. If I uh, go back okay, out so here. Moving over to the device channel, guys, we can see all the other results. The good thing about this test is it allows you to test the hardware regardless of the screen resolution of the device. And I thought the Mali GPU in the Nexus 10 would actually score a lot better than what it actually did. You can see here, this is where the Nexus 10 comes in. Officially 7,743. I scored 8,000. I am stock. I'm not even rooted over here, guys. So there's not even funny business going on. But I just thought the Mali GPU in this would be a lot stronger and would be a lot higher in the list. You can see how well the Adreno GPUs are doing, like the Nexus 4. They're right at the top of the list. I guess that's something to do with, or who knows? I guess maybe, maybe the benchmark just suits the Adreno 320 GPU more. Who knows? You can see the Galaxy S4 LTE variant is at the top here. That is probably the, um, you can see it's the Crate 300. So again, that's using the Adreno 320 GPU. So I definitely think the next Nexus 10, they will be beefing up the GPU. They definitely need it to push this screen resolution generally in games and in the UI. Even though it's pretty damn smooth, I do think they need a beefier GPU. So if we just move that one out of the way. 
check out the Nexus 7. And that scored kind of 3,000 something, pretty much where I thought it would score, if I'm honest with you guys. It's uh, nearly a year old now. We're probably going to see the next variant of the Nexus 7 some point, maybe in the Google uh, I.O. coming up in May. So that should be interesting. And I think they're going to go with a Snapdragon CPU and GPU, which is probably going to be an Adreno GPU, which is some of the best. So uh, look forward to that. We should be getting a lot better performance in terms of games. So, uh, yeah. That's the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10, guys. Peace out.